Here's the uh, blender and burnisher pack. Inside you've got two blenders, two burnishers, an eraser and a sharpener. And they're really useful tools for using with coloured pencils. Okay, so with the blender, you can see here I've done a quick drawing of a tomato and I've left the pencil marks really quite obvious so you can see the blender working. All I'm going to do is start blending with it. So literally just start as if it was a colour pencil, colouring over the top of every area on the tomato where I want the colours to blend in a bit better together. It's totally colourless and as I'm going along you'll see and where I have the pencil marks, it's becoming much more smooth, kind of warm and it helps you to mix colours as well. On the uh, green bit of the tomato here, that's made up with blue, a really dark blue and a lighter green and a yellow, it helps them blend in together to make a nice deep intense green and of course the shadow areas we can give that a little blend in as well and there's the blender so we're going to take the burnisher now and I'm just going to show you how you can add a burnish, nice shine on top of your uh, drawings. Obviously this is just a quick drawing that I did earlier of some cherries. You might want to make the cherries very shiny because they obviously are quite shiny. So we're just going to take the burnisher and start rubbing over the top. Once we've got everything covered. See the shine beginning to come there. I'll just do this, I'll just concentrate on this particular cherry, I think. That's getting there. Just take your finger and more or less give it a quick little polish with your finger. And that's when you begin to see a real shine coming up. Perhaps you can see the unburnished cherry on the right hand side. And then as you move across to the left, perhaps you can see the light catching and shining on the left hand cherry. The other thing you can use a burnisher for is a wax resist technique. Um, if you want to keep a colour, prevent a colour getting taken over by colours you lay on top, you can lay the burnisher down as a sort of layer of preventative wax. So, here we go, we're going to draw the mortar in a wall as an example of what you might want to do. Just a quick and easy um, demonstration. And it's a little more subtle than using an embossing tool because it does pick up tints of the colour that you're using. Which is a good enough reason to use it for the mortar in a wall because it's not totally white, is it? So we're going to take the pencil and quite literally draw over the top. I'm going to put a few layers on here so you really see the um, mortar starting to show through well. So a little golden brown to the bricks. Perhaps a little bit of moss here and there. And there you have a really quick and easy wall where you haven't had to draw around each brick individually to keep the mortar colourless.